Uh, uh, you think they're trying to burn some fucking evidence? Uh, or what? Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It smells horrible. Just, hey, sugar, stand back. Al, if anybody comes running out, you know what to do. Oh, don't you worry. I'll light their ass up. Looks like you're on door kicking duty again. Go on. <coughs> hey! Hey! Hel Hello? What the hell is going on in here? Well, shoot. So much for throwing y'all a surprise party. Hey, hon. Uh, the cookies. Yeah, the cookies are burnt, and I don't think any amount of love or milk is gonna make them edible. <laughs> M Ma Mom? What? What are you... Mama? That's you in there? With cookies? Oh. Oh, no, no. Those are not cookies. Well, hey now, they are cookies. Just not very good ones. And that's okay, because there's a plan B I'm working on. Ma. And this pretty little thing here must be the sweetest thing that ever happened to y'all. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Jesse. I've been- Hey. Hey, hold on for a minute. What is all this? What are you doing here? With... Hey, Seth. Hold on, man. No! I'm not gonna hold on. Ma, why the hell did I get a fucking box with your hair in it from Derek? Huh? What's going on? Oh, dear. See, I was hoping I'd have everything ready so I could sit you all down and do all my explaining. But things don't always work out that way. Why don't y'all grab a seat and I'll do my best. I uh, yeah, that sounds good. Right, Seth? Come on. Don't touch me, man. Okay, okay, sorry. It's, uh, it's been a long day. Not really much of a Christmas either, so... Attentions are pretty high, but you, uh, you're not, um, tied up in some crusty asshole's basement, and that's a good thing. <laughs> that fool of a man really thought he was gonna get you boys all hot and bothered over some old hair of mine. Hell, for all I know, he could have been plucking my hairs out of a brush way back when. Just thinking he was going to use that to pull a fast one on you one day. <sighs> nah, no. He hasn't been able to get his greasy paws on me. And that's the problem. Well, it worked. I thought something happened. I thought he... He could have... <sighs> Ma'am? I got the stuff... They only had fake Oreos and low-fat milk at the store, though, so... Ah! Uh, oh, uh, I, um... Uh. Now, come on. You just spilled the milk right on that suspiciously man-sized stain on the floor. <sighs> Chuck, maybe you should just take a breather. All right, I'll, um... I'll, uh, b be around. That little fella is my ears on the inside. That's how I knew what Derek was up to. He's a great note-taker, actually. Um, not sure why he didn't stay in school. Wait, so the rat is your rat? Yes, sir. Derek's gotten... Well, he's gotten real sloppy since you boys did a number on him. You showed his little gang that he was touchable. 
and destabilized his whole power structure. So, while he was locked up... Hold on. Just, just hold on for, for a minute. All right, hon. What is it? Let me get this straight. You've been around, keeping an eye on things, through that little shit. And you know everything about the money I took from Derek. You know about Alphonse, about his boo, his life there, me going back. You knew about me getting jumped. And them wrecking my bike, too, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, I heard about all of that. But this ain't even about you and that man's money. That was pocket change in the grand scheme of things. This? No, this is about me. Ain't it always? (laughs) So... Hold on, Seth. Let her finish. (laughs) Yeah. What was it you said earlier? I'm holding on real fucking tight. Well. There's not really an easy way to say all of this, so... I'm just gonna lay my cards on the table. I wasn't just dating Derek because I have poor taste in men... Which is a valid and true statement all the same, but we were partners. At least that's how I saw it. But Derek's a greedy some bitch, and in his eyes, I wasn't a partner. I was his woman, so I learned the business. Got good and got gone. And while he was out of commission... I started to cut in on his turf. Take some of the business for my own. All without answering to whatever higher power looks down on Derek from on top of the food chain. So, to try to get to me, Derek decided to try and get to y'all. I, uh, I see. That's... That's a lot. Don't bother, Alphonse. Ma, you said a whole lot just now. But you could have saved yourself the breath and just said you were doing what you've always done. And tell me, baby boy, what is it that I've always done? Looking out for yourself. Willing to forsake anybody who gave half a shit about you. Do you even realize what you've done? You've brought an innocent person into this because you couldn't even be bothered to pick up the damn phone and let us know what was going on. You were willing to use us as pawns in this damn game of yours. What's the matter? Was that rat not enough muscle for you? Now, what? They're... They're going to think we're working for you. And they're going to be scared, right? Oh, they're going to be pissing their fucking pants. Thinking that Jesse's little mama's boy came back to do her fucking dirty work. (laughs) All according to your plan, right, Ma? They're going to think it's your time to run shit. That's what all this was? It wasn't enough to drag me down with you in the first place, right? You had to bring us back for another round. Because you can't do it on your own. Isn't that right, Mom? You've never been enough on your own. And it's taken you this damn long to figure it out. And now we're here to bail you out. Seth, I... I don't have any excuses for you. I don't. You will not gamble with my future. With our future. Coward. Well, shit. 
It's a damn mess. I know that. There wasn't... There wasn't any good way to unfuck this situation or to tell him the truth or to just let it stay buried. I've been trying to clean up my own messes for a long time and every step I take seems to leave me deeper in it than I was in the first place. You don't have to believe a wretch like me when I say this. You ain't got no reason to. But... I am so sorry for getting this darling of yours into this. From the intel Derek got, they said you both seemed really happy. And that Seth being there seemed like trouble was afoot. Well, at least at first. Yeah, it was, uh... It was pretty rough the first go around. And then he had to leave. And wander. And then they got a hold of him. But then what I heard really shocked me. That y'all took him in and seemed happy. If there was any clear way for me to cut him off at the pass and keep Derek from escalating this whole thing, I would have done it. I'd have done Whatever it took. But I didn't have the answers. And you three got every right to be pissed. Mm. It's, uh... It's a lot. This is a lot. But I'm not... I'm not surprised. You're kind of a badass. I mean, that's where Seth gets it from. I think, uh, I think part of why he's so upset is because he's a lot like you. I can hear it in his words. And I can see it in his everything. I know all too well how the decisions we make echo through the rest of our lives. So does he. I can go talk to him. This doesn't have to be so painful. Thanks, sweetie. I gotta clean up this mess. It's one thing to have a Derek-shaped stain on your living room floor, but if that milk goes sour, it might smell worse than his cologne. Boo, you, uh... You wanna come with me, or, uh... Mm. Okay, you want to help out up here? All right, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. No worries. I'll go get that goofball, and we can crash soon. Emotions are high, and we're all really damn tired. Yeah. I'll be back soon. 